Rice. W R I C E F. Dear Avers, let's discuss how you can map yourself in BTP world. That is business technology platform. In the sequence, number one workflow. You might be using SWDD, SWO1, SWUS, SBWP to build, test, and manage your business workflows in on-prem ECC or SMHANA. In BTP, it's cloud workflow with business rules. You can have advanced level process visibilities on top of that. You can use workflow inbox application service for all workflow administrations at central place. Then number two, report. You are very much familiar with AC38, AC80, AC37, AC10 to write code, test and deploy your customer specific report and application. In BTP, you will be connecting to on-prem ECC or SPO system using API or SDI. Then build business logics with CDS based data models and CAPM Node.js based services. Then use UI5 for analytical or list report or even you can go for SSC for advanced level reporting and dashboards on top of those data models. Then number three interfaces who is generally known for IDOC, Proxy, SOAP, RFC kind of developments in on-prem ECC or SPOHANA. In BTP we have various options and API business hub almost include everything, OData, REST API, SOAP, all. We can directly consume those from your CAPM Node.js applications or if you want low code based process integration use CPI where you will be having options for lots of standard adapters. Even you can go for SDI for efficient data integration or use event mesh for real time integrations. Then number four, conversions. When we have new SAP system, we generally load the data first, right? We use LSMW, BDC, L11 for file upload kind of scenarios. For standard data load, the process will be the same. And at the same time, in BTP, when you build side-by-side -side extensions, you will be needing the data in HANA Cloud. There you can go for SDI, Smart Data Integration. Then number five, enhancements. You must be using user exits, customer exits, baddy to fulfill your customer's custom business requirements. Of course, we will be not having the same options in BTP because here our main goal is to keep the core system clean. So we will do side by side extensions, mainly using CAP, RAP, HANA Cloud, API, SDI and so on. Then last, number 6, form. In BTP, it's Adobe form service. It's almost the same, you can generate print and interactive form using Adobe document service that is ADS. You can call this service from your application using REST APIs to render the documents and you can manage the form template in template store. So these are the generic adoption types from regular SAP development perspective. But when you will come into BTP world, endless possibilities will be open for you, for your organization's digital transformation. And if you want me to post content like this, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.